Hello and welcome to Challenge the Build. In today's review video, a box from Viver Pools. And as you can see on the box, it pretty much sums up what Viver is about. Tough tools at half the price. Viver and I have been in communication back and forth about reviewing some tools. And I asked them to specifically send me this one. So let's see if you can guess what's in the box by what I'm pulling out first. And this is going to be a six piece set of what is called annular cutters. Next is going to be a coolant reservoir. We have a drill chuck and drill key. We have some handles. And finally, Oh my gosh, it's heavy. The instruction manual key. But yes, we have a brand new mag drill and I am pumped about this tool. As you can see, I bought an older model. Now this is probably two, three, maybe even four years old. I've had this one for quite a while. It does not get used that often. However, there are still times when this pays for itself in the time that it's used. There are some massive improvements with this one that I will just compare quickly to show you why this is a better tool. There is a little assembly that's involved with this drill, mainly with the coolant tank and the handles. I did mention earlier, uh, it is extremely important to read, understand, and follow the user manual. And there is minimal backlash in the handle, but as far as control up and down, very, very smooth. And while I'm working on installing the coolant tank, this is where I want to draw your attention to one of the differences from the older model to specifically this newer model. And that is in the way that the coolant is supplied to the drill in the collar, in the form of this collar. And you can see in the older model, there is a collar that spins around right here on the bottom of the drill and it's fed from the tank down to this little adapter. You can see that I bent the holder and I felt like this was a really chintzy way to do this and it would just sit up against the drill. Not a good design. Moving over to the new drill, they definitely approved upon how the coolant is supplied from the tank down to the collar because it is all integrated within the collar of the drill. So super um, improvement as far as coolant supplied to the drill. And I realized um, I am so excited to kind of review this thing and was happy to get it out of the box that I completely forgot to give you the model number and some of the uh, core specs on this mag drill. So that's what I'm going to do right now. This is the Viver model 8850E. It runs at 120 volts with the power consumption of 1400 watts, which is about equivalent to 14 to 15 amps, plus or minus a little bit. We just talked about the speed range of the um, drill chuck, which is 0 to 810 RPMs with a max drilling depth of 50 millimeters. Also, one of the things that is vastly different from this drill, this drill uses Allen key set screws for what is called the three quarter weld-in shank. Whereas this one has a one touch quick change using what is called the Nitto one touch coupler. So, this is super slick, whereas all you have to do is get it centered up, push it in, 
and then it automatically locks the annular cutter or the adapter for the drill chuck and just a simple turn will release it. One touch, super, super slick. I will say that the annular cutters are a little bit more expensive and harder to find. However, once you have them and realize how fast you can change out the bits, I don't think there's really any going back. So that in itself is a really awesome feature and something that is found in some higher end mag drills. So that, again, is awesome. I This thing is freaking cool. Not only is it built really stout, this is all cast here. And the frame, one thing I noticed, again, separating these two completely different class of mag drills, I'm almost ready to pull this one off the table because this one doesn't even compare to this one at this point. But something that I noticed with the um, head of this mag drill, they give you an Allen wrench. You can loosen this Allen bolt right here. And then now, this has the ability to slide up and down on the main frame, giving you more versatility for when you put the drill chuck adapter in and going to a standard twist style drill bit. I can say that when I use this one, they give you a adapter for this one as well. But once you put the drill chuck in, it basically becomes virtually unusable because there's not space for the drill bit. So the ability to adjust this one on the main frame, giving you more range of motion. And then when you want to use the drill chuck and adapter, which we might as well just do that right now. I'll screw this in. The one touch nitto is something that is really cool. And where's that? It takes, a, it takes a second to figure out where it's at in the chuck, but once it's there, you push it up, it locks in and it's there, ready to use, twist, and it releases. So very cool. I know I've said it a thousand times already, but it is really cool. And the motion is buttery smooth. And I know at this point in the video, you're like, come on guy, just plug it in. It already is plugged in, and what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and turn it on. So I'm going to switch on the magnetic switch. We are now locked into the table. And I'm going to put it in the forward motion, turn down the speed, and here we go. So now we are at uh, basically zero on the setting. And I'm gonna slowly ramp up the speed. Sounds like a jet engine winding up. With the gear reduction in the head, now we are running at full uh, RPM, which is 810 RPM. Let it come to a complete stop and then flip it in reverse. And again, you have the full range of speed in reverse as well. All right, so I took a few minutes, got the mag drill all set up. I filled the coolant reservoir with a little cutting fluid. I have my material clamped down to the table. I am going to be drilling through two and a half inch square tubing that has a quarter wall thickness. Uh, ultimately, this is more or less designed for drilling on I-beams, you know, sticking it up against a frame, drilling holes through some framework. That's why they supply a strap for when this is actually laying at the horizontal, drilling horizontally. They give you a safety strap, so this way here you can strap it to whatever it is that you're working on to keep it from falling off if the magnet was to let go. Uh, in the kit with this mag drill, 
Viver gives you six annular cutters from the range of 15, 18, 21, 24, 26, and 27 millimeters, all at the cutting depth of 30 millimeters. And what I am going to pick is just go right for the biggest and the baddest cutter. Uh, so I'm going to go for the 27 millimeter. They also give you a centering guide pin, which goes down into the center of the cutter before you insert it into the chuck. And while they only give you metric annular cutters for this drill, I do want to bring your attention again to the annular cutters. Now, in the beginning of the video, I talked about specifically this having a nitto quick disconnect. The standard three-quarter Weldon shank annular cutters will not fit into the quick disconnect. They do make a adapter to go from the nitto quick disconnect to a standard three-quarter Weldon shank that will allow you to use standard cutters. I have this set from Gestuous for the old mag drill. So I will be picking up the adapter. So this way here, I can use my uh, standard size cutters. Um, so keep that in mind if this is the one that you are going to buy. Viver does have other models similar to this, just in smaller sizes that have the standard three quarter Allen Weldon shank. So I just wanted to draw your attention to the cutters and the shanks one more time because I was unaware of that. I actually tried to fit the standard three quarter Weldon in there and it did not work. So um, just pay close attention to the ones that you're buying when it comes to mag drill with cutters. And with that, I'm going to insert this cutter in there, locked it in. And now we're ready to start drilling. On the coolant tank, there is a little petcock on the bottom that you can control the amount of fluid. is a pretty substantial hole in some quarter wall material drilled with ease. Uh, very light pressure on the handle going down. I'm not even in the best position to use this. Honestly, it would be in the front, kind of using the handle on the front side of the drill, but I want it to kind of stay out of the way so you could see the drill in action. So as they say, a hot knife through butter, in this case, a sharp annular cutter through steel. So that's going to conclude my review of the Viver 8850E mag drill. I want to say thank you to Viver for sending me this drill to be able to do the review on. This thing is just an absolute beast. With the old mag drill that I had, this one, in my opinion, doesn't even come close to comparing to that one. With a lot of the newer improvements in the newer models, the simple fact of how they did the coolant reservoir feeding the drill chuck. Uh, massive improvements, very efficient. The Nitto one touch quick disconnect here on the chuck is super slick and I will be getting the adapter to be able to utilize my old annular cutters with this mag drill. For more information about the Viva 8850 mag drill, make sure you click the links in the description below and Really, there's only two things left to say, and that is Viver, tough tools, half price, and now it's time for you to get out there and go challenge your build. 
Thank you for watching. I will see you in an upcoming video and or review.